Hey, I'm Alexey, and today we're talking about how to use the new pose library in R24 or 23, whatever. Uh, I'm going to show you how to import existing pose libraries, how to create your own pose libraries, and how to work with them without messing up and you know minimizing the amount of work that you can lose while trying to create your poses. And if you're using my Mia character, this will show you how to import them in and use them. So let's get started. Need rigs? Ace Fight Studios as rigs. Okay, so let's get started with the pose library. Now, so this is what we want to achieve. We want to have a face where this is at the global. We can do happy, sad, angry, silly. This is our objective because we want to simplify the process of, you know, getting faces and stuff. So how do we go about this? Now, the first thing you're going to want is you're going to want to add a new database. Adding a new database is pretty easy. If you go, like right now, if we go to character, manage a pose library, you'll see we have this Mia pose lib. Pref preference is the default pose library. That's if you don't, if you haven't added any database, all your stuff will be in preferences. And while this works, it's a bit inconvenient because, um, you know, you want to save these somewhere next to your project. Like you don't want them to be somewhere in your you know, my documents or whatever, you want them somewhere findable so that also when you send stuff, if you send it to a client or if you send it to another coworker, you want to be able to find them. So what I do is basically I create a folder. It's just an empty folder here. It's called Mia Face Demo. There's nothing in it. Um, I go to Edit and I go Preferences. And in Preferences, we go to Asset Browser. And here we will delete our pose lib. It doesn't matter because it's just a link. It still keeps everything in the folder. And let's add Mia Face Demo. Now we close this out and we go back to character, manager, and pose library. And you'll see now we'll close this. Oh, we actually have some, it's weird. I deleted it, but I guess they still see it. Very strange. <laughs> I guess it didn't. Anyway, let's just delete this thing so we can start from the beginning. Yes, I do want to delete it. So we have Mia's face demo and we have a folder there. We click this little create new library called Mia. And then we make a new group and we call it face. And now we can create a new pose. So let's say we make a smile and just lift these guys a bit. Let's lift the eyebrows. <laughs> Looks more unimpressed than happy, but. Maybe open the mouth a bit. Maybe you lower it a bit. There you go. I think that's sufficiently on the happy side. Well, maybe also make it stare a bit. There you go. So this is going to be our happy. And the thing is now it's very important that we actually select all of our rig. So all the controllers that we want, we can either select them from here or you can just go find the face rig and middle click on it. It'll select all your controllers in your face rig. Um, you also might want to lock your, go to layers and this thing should be locked. So you can only see, maybe it should even be hidden. Um, but you have to select all your controllers and then you go add new pose. And let's call this pose happy. Now let's say we quickly make a sad pose. Select this one, make him sad. And let's bring our eyelids down. And this guy can also be looking down. Yeah, let's say this is, oops, let's say this is sad. Maybe let's maybe close the mouth and lift this one up. Now the thing is, if we now make a new pose, we go new pose and we call it sad. When we go back to the happy one and we drag the slider across, we're like, yay, happy. And we go back to sad and what? Only one control and I did all that work and I just lost it. And now I have to start from the beginning. Well, uh, that is a problem because you have to select all the controllers you want to save to the pose. So what I actually figured out is I, while making poses, there's actually a slightly more efficient way of doing this. What I do is instead of making these poses, we can delete this one for now. We can leave the happy one. Let's middle click on our face rig stuff and let's keyframe it. So press the little keyframe button. And now let's turn auto keyframe on. So we have face trick. And now what I do is I go to the second pose and I make him sad or her in this case. 
Sad. Maybe lift this guy up a bit and lower the eyes and make her sad. There you go. So this will be our sad face. There you go. And as you can see now, if we go back one frame, happy, sad, happy, sad. If we're not actually saving stuff to post library, we're just gonna do this. And then on the third one, we're gonna make her angry. So let's go. Let's open her mouth to reset this one. Uh, also, when you do a reset PSR, make sure you actually move the controller afterwards. Otherwise the auto keyframe won't work. Then we can move this one here and make her very angry, girl. So we don't have intersections here. Oops, should probably lock the mesh while doing this. <laughs> okay, maybe mouth is a bit too open. Let's raise it up a bit. There you go, angry. So now we have three poses. Now the thing is here, you also see how here we have these two poses and, and one of them doesn't have a keyframe. What I recommend is go Shift F3 and select these guys. It'll select everything below as well and switch them to step. That way you won't get any blending between ob between controllers where you don't have some keyframes in the middle. So now that we've done this, we have our three poses. Now we can actually add them pretty easily. So we have happy, so just go to second phrase and middle click face rig stuff and go add new pose and call this sad. And then go to the next frame and add new pose and call this angry. And now if we go to happy, happy, sad, angry, ta-da. And, and now it's also easier to, now we can also go through and make the pictures for this. So let's go happy. And as you can see, for some reason, we hit all our controllers. Maybe I, I think I clicked this thing back so I don't hit the controllers. And now just uh, select, uh, just, you don't have to select anything. You can just have the set to global and it's happy and make a render and then go sad, make a render and angry, make a render. There you go. And now when we open our library, we have our poses. We can close this guy for now. And now I'm going to go happy, mm, doesn't work. Sad, doesn't work. That's because here we have this set to selection. We can either use a selection object, but I prefer using either, either use global. If you have just one character in your scene, then you don't have to worry about the stuff. Then you can select all of them. Or you can go to selection hierarchy. That way you only have to select the top parent of the rig you want to use and it'll animate. So it'll check in the hierarchy. So if you have two Mias, because right now if we, for example, make a copy of this Mia, and go turn off this wireframe. Now anyway, let's make a copy of the Mia. So control drag her. So now as you can see, we have two Mias. Now if we have this set to global, they're both going to get happy and they're both getting angry. But if we have it set to selection hierarchy, it'll only be the one that's selected. So there you go. As you can see, by the way, if you have this wireframe and you can't turn it off in R23, the secret is you have to go into mesh and you have to select one of your, you have to select them. You have to select a mesh, which you can use your um, sculpt tool on. So you go brush and if you press W, then it'll hide the outline. You can delete this and go back to your move tool. So there you go. Now you can see happy, sad, angry, but if it's set to global, it'll do both, both of them. So that's why I prefer selection hierarchy. Or if you do just selection, it'll be only the objects you selected if you want to do specific stuff like that. So there you have it. Um, pose library for making faces. Um, and now obviously this file here, this folder should have all right, don't forget to press save. By the way, go back to, you know, here in your pose library, which is in the character manager. Um, see, I have little stars because the stuff isn't saved. So don't forget to press save. That's very important. And then you can see all the files appear here. So yeah, and this is saved. And so then you have the folder in your project and you know where it is and you can give it to people instead of having it to dig in through it in preferences. Thanks for watching. And as always, remember, if you need rigs, Ace 5 Studios has rigs. We have free rigs up here. You can use in your personal projects. We have Mari and Mia and 5J Pack for explainers and arms and legs. And Maria has a bunch of cats and animals you can use. And here, if you go through Mari, has a full face rig. 
you know, it's lots of functionality. You can use them in your projects. Mir is also fully rigged. Um, you can use her as a host or to sell your product. Um, also have the arms and legs pack, which you can put together to build your own characters. And they're already rigged, so you don't need to do any weight painting. You just have to stick them together and ready to go. Or you have 5J people for your explainer videos and other stuff. So don't forget to check it out and see you next time.